Hi everybody, my name is Alf Petsson. I do represent the, the region of Stockholm, not a specific uh, topic here. We are two more persons uh, to present what's going on uh, in the Stockholm region. And that is uh, Jenny Ongman from Barkaby. Uh, municipality west of Stockholm, and then uh, Stefan Tullin from uh, Public Transport of Stockholm. It will be a brief overview of what's going on and the market potential in this uh, region. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, uh, key uh, uh, factors here. Uh, two and a half million uh, inhabitants, a uh, lot of municipalities, of which, of course, Stockholm city is the biggest. And there is a statement uh, to be fossil uh, fuel free by 2040. Besides, as you can see, Stockholm is a very beautiful city in the archipelago of Baltic Sea. Uh, in a large city, there are a lot of different uh, modes of transport, and that's a commuter train, metro, tram, bus, ferry, represented by public transport of Stockholm but also bike sharing, car sharing, e-scooters, and for sure, too many private cars. Uh, the modal split you can see in the figure there uh, is rather balanced. That's the average. If you come to uh, rush hour in the morning, inbound traffic is oversaturated, really, even if uh, the public transport stands for up to 80% of all uh, travelers to the city center. To have a view of what we will present here, uh, you have the geographic uh, relations. Barkaby uh, Staden, represented by a B, Shista Science City, K, Stockholm Royal Seaport, Norra Jurgårdstaden in Swedish, RS and then Hammarby Sjöstad. And there are uh, around 20-25 kilometers in between. In a large city, uh, there are a lot of persons coming every year. Some 40,000 new inhabitants per year in this uh, region, which means that all modes of transport are mostly oversaturated. And you have to um, to uh, realize that we need much more smoother uh, mobility services to hand this. I will not spot uh, Barkaby Staden here, but you can see Hammarby Sjöstad. The characteristics of that is that it was uh, constructed in the late 90s, mostly completed it has a focus on uh, sustainable and uh, good mobility uh, with uh, public transport. Uh, th there is a focus on e-vehicles. Uh, E-grid will be uh, uh, constructed over there. Stockholm Royal Seaport is the largest ongoing urban development in, um, in Stockholm. Uh, already a, a lot of people are living there. 
there are a restricted uh, number of uh, private uh, parking lots so mobility uh, is uh, or are high on the agenda and then Shista Science City uh, perhaps with one of the Europe's largest ICT clusters uh, which means that there are 40, 000, more than 40,000 employees commuting every day. Uh, it's a real challenge, even if the public transport and motorways, etc., is uh, well uh, done over there. Uh, the last I will say here, uh, and that is uh, for the first, Stockholm Public Transport will be presented here by Stefan Tulin and also Municipality of Järfälla. I will not say that much over there. I will mention a bit of uh, Familjebostäder, which is a municipality-owned uh, housing uh, company. Uh, one of three, I think uh, some persons from this uh, organization is here today. Uh, they really support innovative mobility services because the restricting uh, parking, uh, available parking uh, slots. So um, that's as I interpreted it, uh, a statement from the city that we will focus on sustainability. Stockholm Parking, uh, also a uh, uh, <coughs> municipality-owned uh, company here uh, with a lot of uh, parking spaces and also are supporting uh, mobility service in connection with parking areas. So th that's what I intended to say so far. Please. Let's see. Hello, <laughs> my name is Jenny Ongman and uh, I work in Järfälla municipality. Is this really high? Yes. <laughs> is it better? No. Is it too high? Low? Or? It's okay. Okay. Uh, I work in Järfälla municipality and also in a company called Barkaby Science that work with uh, sustainability and innovations in Barkaby staden. And uh, I'm here to talk a little about uh, Järfälla and Barkaby staden. And uh, here is a picture uh, that shows that Järfälla is uh, a hub in uh, the region and uh, with good connections, both uh, with the public transportation and also with the road links. And it's better to be uh, in 2024, we're going to have the metro uh, running and also a regional stop uh, in Barkaby staden that will take us in 42 minutes to Westeros where we have a lot of working uh, places. And uh, also uh, the road links is being better with the bypass motorway uh, at 2026. You're going to uh, have the possibility to go on that. Yes. And uh, today uh, it lives like uh, 76,000 people in uh, Järfälla. And in Barkaby staden it lives like uh, uh, 5,000 people. And uh, this is a picture of Barkaby staden, the, develop, uh, the developing uh, area. It's one of the largest, uh, largest uh, developing areas in the northern part of Europe. We're building uh, up to 30,000 new homes and uh, we're creating a living city and all what that means with businesses, services and other destinations. Uh, 
and uh, in Barkabustaden we want to create a sustainable and innovative city and uh, innovative solutions and among uh, every, uh, other things we're the first in the world with uh, automotive uh, uh, self-driving buses in scheduled traffic <laughs> um, and in that uh, project we work together with uh, Nobina that we have with us today and uh, also together with the uh, key TH and also together with you um, and um, also in that project we want to uh, make as good mobility as possible in, uh, in Barkabustaden, of course, uh, and uh, we're looking for uh, carpools, bicycle pools, uh, e-scooter pools, or other interesting solutions. Uh, so that's why we're here today. <laughs> uh, if you have any interesting solutions, uh, just come and, and speak to us uh, afterwards. Yeah. All right, uh, Stefan Tulin from SL. Uh, actually, I will not say much about SL as such, but just like to mention that we are on a mission from, from GAD, that's our politicians, to uh, engage in uh, different pilots in, uh, in the mobility area. Uh, so where we are right now is that we, what we bring to the table is our open API with data and uh, stops and so on. And we're also implementing uh, the API for digital tickets, SL tickets. So uh, we will already, are already running a couple of pilots together with um, commercial players. And eventually this will lead to a long-term strategy for SL, um, how to approach the, the ecosystem of, of mobility. So uh, right now we have uh, these four pilots and we are interested in more pilots to come. So I just briefly mentioned this. Uh, we have one uh, aiming for, for uh, corporate travelers. We, have two, we are engaged in two pilots, uh, actually three pilots uh, targeting um, people in, in the city. Uh, one is together with uh, Stockholm town and uh, Ubigo within the ex uh, eccentric project. And one, as said, is in Barkaby Staden, together with uh, Järfella and uh, Nobina and others. And one uh, that is on a planning stage right now is uh, with WIM, WIM for Stockholm. So these are the four pilots right now that we are engaged in uh, in the mobility area, but we are interested in more, more pilots, of course. <laughs>